Hey guys, Tom from Hobbit Hall Gaming Group here, and it's nearly the end of the week, so I thought I'd give you an update on my Death Guard project so far. Um, quite a busy week this week because there's been no school or anything, so I've just been able to crack on. It's taking quite a while because I've been pinning lots of stuff and experimenting with lots of stuff, but I've I've got two um, units ready to go ready for spraying and another unit I've chosen that I'm going to have with flamers because that's just awesome so I'm going to take you through um, a couple of units and then uh, show you what what I've done to them basically to make them a little bit cooler and then I go into um, talk to you about my awesome thing later but you'll have to see that later don't skip ahead by the way <laughs> you can if you want to um, well I started off with just some basic bolter dudes. My idea was these guys are going to come stay at the back, defend any objectives I've got in my area. I'm going to have them with two plasmas so they can take on all comers. And the conversions I've done with them, I've, obviously I've got the basic troops that can be asked to convert them. I've changed, reposed this guy's um, bolter so instead of having it upright he's going for a, a kill shot, I suppose you'd say. And um, I've also bought some cloaks from Anvil industries.com and they are really really nice I only bought five because I wanted to see how they were like for um, four pound and post and packaging was fine um, yeah and they're resin cloaks they just fit in under there I think they're specially designed for space marines and chaos marines but it looks it looks awesome and it'll look really really nice so I've given each of my champions one of those so that's what I've done for that bloke um, oh and in each unit I'm going to have um, an icon of despair because you know why the hell not less to painting points I've given him a bolter because he's in the bolter squad obviously and he's going to have the icon of despair up there and he's also got the cloak a different one from Anvil Industries you get five different ones which is really really nice so this one's going that way obviously and this one's sort of just hanging out not doing much in particular so that's the one unit the other unit I've got which has been a bit more fun is the um, close combat unit basic troops again but with bolt pistol and chainsword instead of a bolter and bolt pistol and these guys are a bit more fun because you can play around make them do things um, obviously some of them are failed with and just they look a bit they look all right but some of them look really really cool like this guy particularly like he's sort of yeah I've just finished killing that bloke you're next like that that's cool um, captain for that captain the aspiring champion I should say not even sergeant um, for that has got a pistol and a power fist because I, I, I've noticed with this army already I'm very down on anti-tank stuff and he's got a different um, cloak from Andal, Anvil Industries as well he's looking really nice there can't wait to paint those guys now this bloke took ages despite uh, what he looks like it doesn't look like much have a guess what I've done to this bloke that took absolutely ages yeah I've done the cloak that didn't take too long they're nice easy it was this this um, chainsaw here in the pack you only get left hand chainsaws which is a bit odd and I wanted him to hold this obviously and I didn't want him to have it in his left hand because this it is in his left hand, in his right hand sorry, in his right hand I wanted his weapon because being chaos I thought icon second weapon first so I've had to cut that out of another bloke's hand and then stick it onto this hand which was originally a pistol hand but you can't really see that it was so it's worked out pretty nice but that took quite a while so that's that unit um, third unit, the unit I'm really excited about are these chosen guys and I love having specialist weapon squads and my it was either Havocs or Chosen I was going to go for so I went for Chosen because the idea is they pop out of a Rhino they've all got flamers so they flame the crap out of a unit and then they've got um, four techs each on the charge so basic anti-infantry squad there but the reason I'm really excited about these blokes I haven't really done much in particular to them was this guy and this guy is these the um, aspiring champion for the chosen is that a thing aspiring champion whatever the sergeant is for the chosen um, he's gonna have a cloak as well but I've got to order more from Anvil Industries but this thing took quite a while he's going to have because he's death guard a scythe coming off the top of there so I've um, cut out the chainsaw hand and the bolter hand and then I stuck the just the arms without the hands on. I waited for that to dry really, really uh, well. Then I filed it down a little bit and um, drilled through the hands, stuck the hands on. That did take quite a while. Um, as you can see here, there's one or two rough edges. I'm just going to have to um, 
cover up the green stuff but this one in particular worked out really really well so all I've got to do is green stuff that bit I'll be asking Aaron in club to, to help me with that because I'm not too good with green stuff and hopefully all the death guard then that I'm going to have will have um, scythes all of them and I hope they look really really cool I'm playing with the idea of giving them cloaks as well and like ripping up the cloaks a bit because obviously they're, they're the most devout Nurgle warriors in the army so they're going to have rotting cloaks but I, I'm not sure on that due to the price I've got 30 of them I will be having um, the Chaos upgrades for them not Chaos Forge World upgrades they're all Chaos for them and the Terminators I'll be doing I'll do a review on that possibly next week when I start to use them because obviously you know what's the point of me doing it now I can just tell you about what they look like and that's on the Forge World website so you know, bear with me with that, guys. Um, this one I'm particularly excited about. This is a Dragon Forge base I bought ages ago, and this is for my Demon Prince to go on. And I know you're thinking, what the hell are you doing? This is an absolutely huge base for a Demon Prince. But the idea is, um, I'm gonna have a bit of a diorama around it if I pop these guys out of the way a sec. They're still drying, so I gotta be careful with them. Um, yeah, this is the trench work section from Dragon Forge. Dragon Forge stuff is really, 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 really cool, but I would um, advise put a warning against it. If you spend more than ten pounds and you're in the UK, um, they'll charge you post and packaging, as 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 rightly so. And they're not the most cheapest bases in the world. I think this one was about um, ten pound, fifteen pound, with post and packaging, but it's really, really nice. Um, but then when they arrive in the UK, obviously they haven't paid VAT, so the Royal Mail very kindly intercepts it, takes it off to the VAT place where they, they have a look at the VAT and stick the VAT on, then the Royal Mail charges you for the inconvenience, so you end up spending about another £10 and you have to pay that on the door or the post lady won't give it to you. Which is a bit of a nightmare, but it's well worth it if you're if you're into it. So the idea is the Demon Prince, here he is just a bog standard Demon Prince, is going to come in, he's, he's going to have wings, fly down and land on top of a rhino that quite frankly has shit itself, obviously, because there's a Demon Prince on it and crashed and the Demon Prince is going to be here and he's going to be um, on the top ripping off the doors and this, this door's open as you can see and I'm going to have a, a Space Marine, an Ultramarine because no one likes Ultramarines running for his life out the door, not looking back and a, an awesome guy who's a bit more heroic just lying inside firing up at the uh, the Demon Prince who's ripping the shit out of the, uh, the Rhino top hatch there so I'll, I'll be getting to crack, cracking on that again that was for our diorama competition but obviously it's passed now um, I have painted the inside, as you can see. I've done. I've tried to weather it up a bit because you know I'm sure they don't take that much uh, time with the rhino interiors. I've tried to make it so that the um, the chips on the floor are in the middle, going off to the doors, and obviously down there. And then I've got some some mud coming down here because you know after the battle, I'm, I'm sure they'd get back in and drive off, have a party. Yeah, so that's where I am at the moment, guys. I'm going to be ordering some more stuff for um, my sergeants and things. I keep calling them sergeants, aspiring champions. And I'm well, well impressed with this bloke. I quite like this bloke. So we're going to be um, buying some Tyranid Hormigaunts or Termigaunts, you know, the one with scythes. And then obviously cutting that off, sticking it on there. If you've got any other ideas, please comment below because that's quite an expensive uh, thing to do. So that's where I am with the Death Guard at the moment. Today I'll be, it is morning, today I'll be painting up these bases from, uh, where are they, Dark Art Miniatures, so they look like this one. And I can get cracking on painting these guys. I'm going to um, buy the Army Painter Spray for them, uh, spray them up bone, and then layer them up to white. So obviously I have some nice um, dark recesses, and then weather them up on the um, legs especially and hopefully around the arms I don't know yet there we go I can't go any further with this guy because I haven't got a um, cloak for him to wear I really want him to wear a cloak so there we are thanks for watching guys if you watched this far oh god nine minutes 30 seconds that's quite a lot but it's been a packed week um, hopefully next time next week I'll be able to show you some painted stuff which is where the real fun comes in I quite enjoy painting at the moment um, yeah that's about it our Tale of Gamers competition is going ahead and my mini competition with Paul's Raven Guard. I've got his Assault Squad ready to give him. So Paul, if you're watching this, there's your Assault Squad. I'll give it you on Saturday in two days when I see you. Um, he'll be using those for his Raven Guard. He's put out a 
comments everywhere trying to pick up loads of assault marines for his raven guard so i'm gonna have to think of a way to to combat that um but yeah we've i've decided my army next week's challenge if you're watching any of our members is to paint a single model um in your color scheme that you'll be using that's it we're going really slow on this one um if you like it subscribe guys and if you don't don't subscribe obviously can't make you that's your choice um i'll see you next week or probably in another battle rep we do saturday thanks for watching guys